And today's topic is how to avoid unhealthy foods. Because we know that again, uh, we should be eating more fruits and vegetables and avoiding eating processed foods and sugar, but it's not easy. So I want to give you some strategies today and also answer any questions you have. Okay. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, six tips, six strategies I'm going to share with you, and then I'll take any questions. So number one is to improve your sleep. So actually... Yeah. So sleep is so important because because when we don't sleep enough or we get poor quality sleep, actually there's a hormone, it's called ghrelin, it's a hormone that makes us feel hungry. So if you're not sleeping at least seven to eight hours or you're not getting good quality sleep because you're staying up late, then it's gonna be really hard to avoid the unhealthy foods because you literally have a hormone increase that's making you more hungry. So if you didn't sleep well or get enough sleep and you're just craving sugar and sweets and and you're not really hungry, then you might want to just take a nap. Uh, you might just need to sleep. And we talked in previous weeks a little bit about sleep, but I'll just give you three quick tips about improving the quality of your sleep. Um, so the first is to sleep earlier. I know in Kurdistan, people are staying up way too late, but really, if you can sleep at least before 12 o'clock, before midnight, ideally before 11, you're gonna get much better quality sleep, even if you're still getting the eight hours. And uh, you know, some people say that they have trouble falling asleep early. So two things that can help you to fall asleep earlier, like to actually feel sleepy earlier, one, it's another hard one, which is to reduce our screen time. You know, when you're looking at your phone or any electronic device at night, the light is actually sending a signal to your brain to keep you awake. Um, so it's hard, but really trying to minimize looking at a screen at night and having bright lights. So like one hour before sleeping or? Yeah, uh, okay. yeah, I'd say at least one hour before sleeping, before your planned sleep time. And yeah. And then another one is to actually, when you wake up, so to try start waking up earlier. If you wake up earlier, it'll be easier to fall asleep earlier. And when you wake up within the first hour, like go outside for at least a few minutes, just so the sunlight hits light. your eyes, so that you're. Even the same sunlight in Iraq is it's okay. Yeah, because also for vitamin D, which is important for our immune system, you know, getting 10 minutes of sunlight on our skin is good for the vitamin D. 
and then also to set our circadian rhythm so we're going to sleep better. So yeah, at least just 10 minutes, we won't burn. It's yeah, good. If you want to use a little bit of 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 كبالا جسمان يعني با جسمان ببيع جلو بارك ما بلم وغزوستي عدد نشوي جزو تلخوا اللي كبيتها Okay Tip number two So how to avoid eating unhealthy foods خالي دون بسترويك دون بسترويك دون بسترويك دون بسترويك دون بسترويك So we want to find ways to get joy from other things than food. Often we want the unhealthy foods because they give us pleasure. But if we seek pleasure from other things, like, you know, whatever things that you enjoy doing besides just eating sweets or chips, it's going to be a distraction. So when you crave food, you can think about, okay, what's something else I could do instead that will also give me pleasure, give me enjoyment. Mm-hmm. And I think we also tend to eat a lot out of boredom. Um, so if you notice that you're snacking on unhealthy food, like again, maybe it's just as simple as calling someone, reading a book, something that's going to make you busy with something you enjoy. And the other thing, we often use food when we're stressed to make us feel better. So you need to find other ways to manage your stress because definitely when we're stressed, we eat for comfort. So other things you can do we talked about simple breathing techniques. So just deep breathing, like if you're craving something sweet or unhealthy like chips, before you eat it, just take 10 slow, deep breaths and drink a glass of water and wait and then see if you're still craving that food. Uh, Yes, now. Okay. All right. So now we're on to tip number three. So how to avoid unhealthy foods. This one is called crowding out, which um, maybe doesn't translate well, but to crowd out means like, imagine you have a crowd of people. It's like a lot of people. And so imagine you have a lot of unhealthy foods. They're crowded together. If we want to push away the unhealthy foods, crowd them out, we want to add more of the good foods. So instead of this mentality where we say, oh, I should stop eating sugar, I should stop eating chips, I should stop drinking soda, instead, focus on adding more of the good things. Say, oh, I should eat more vegetables, I should add more fruit, I should have a handful of nuts. And focus on adding in more of the good things to naturally, this will make you eat less, crowd out the 
unhealthy foods. Oh, did we lose Erfan? Okay, maybe we lost Erfan. Okay, he'll be back. Um, in the meantime, I will just continue in um, he's English. Back. Oh, he's back? Okay. Yeah. okay. Erfan, did you hear what I said uh, no, Larry, about I crowding see. out? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I think you know. So I'm explaining the crowding out, why we want to add more of the good foods and focus on that, like adding more fruit, vegetables, mm -hmm. nuts, rather than focusing on just eating less of the yeah, unhealthy yeah. foods because yeah. adding more of the healthy. Yeah. بلام پیش او دست پیم بخواد نگو که تاکید کنه و یک صلاتی گزور گزور نخواد و ایست لی ناتوانی یعنی پر بی دن ناتوانی خواهد بود. او اشتهی باشه لارس او یور جست دی اینوایتد بای دریلز هاوس، سو ای هاد سالاد لایک بیگ بال اف سالاد، سو ای کنن هاف فاتس و میز و چیکن، سو ایوس بود. اگر بتوانی پیش او صلاتی کی باش پوی هم دو هتل استفاده دیگه و هم معده پر به آن خواهد نی دو پی نخوره دو خواهد نکه با من زور تند روش نیه. Yeah. No, exactly. Like the example you gave Erfan is also what I was going to add that a strategy, which also is a really good weight loss strategy. So if you want to lose weight, um. Good bash book is. It's to start each meal, like before you eat the main meal, make your first course either a salad, um, like a bowl of greens, or just an apple, even just an apple, and eat that first, and then have your main meal, because these are like fiber foods that are going to make you cool and then you'll eat less of the unhealthy food. And again, if, if this doesn't work for you, it's also, as we said, like, the problem I see in Kurdistan is that you just make this big plate of rice right. and, and this little bowl of salad. So even if you change the concept, like in the U.S., the way we eat, we usually put the food on our plate and then we sit at the table. We don't bring it all. And that on our plate, there's one part of the plate that has the starch, which for us is more often potatoes, pasta, sometimes rice or bread. There's a part of the plate for the protein, which could be meat, sometimes beans. And then there's a part of the plate for the vegetables. So rather than covering your whole plate with rice, maybe you make half of it rice and half of it vegetables. Yeah, so you don't use something for like shilla, as we call? Um, we might. I mean, it's different. But the, again, I think we have to think of different approaches to how we can add more vegetables because that's the goal we're not focusing on like don't eat rice don't eat bread we're just saying how can we add more vegetables yeah. Yeah. الی اما قابکا بون من هم قابکان با خوردن ولی سر میزه که دانی و قابکانش دبش دبش کرده و اونو قابکا گر خربه و بشه تمام خاطر سر آبچه و گوشه نو بیاد باشه بشه کی بشه کی دانی با سوزو میوا بشه کی با اولن با برنج بشه کی اگر پتات و پروتین و آنی لسر بی بالا نوک لای خوام که یک جد همو قابکا برنج کی زور زوری لسره اماش با شوازی که تر دانی اگر بتوانی yeah. And the other reason this is effective, so this is something I use in my health coaching because uh, in terms of psychology, they say that your brain doesn't actually hear the word don't. So if I tell you, or like imagine you tell a child, don't touch that, 
they're going to touch whatever you said not to. They don't right. hear the word don't. So if we say to ourselves, oh, don't eat sugar, don't eat, don't drink soda, our mind does not hear the word don't. Mm -hmm. So we just, it actually causes us to eat more. So that's why we don't want to tell ourselves these messages of like, don't eat sugar, don't eat um, chips. We want to just say, eat more vegetables, have an apple. ریش تیکل روی سایکولوژی شو راست که زور جار تو و منالیک شلی دستگاری اوش تم مکه کات لانشت مکه آوا کات میشک من لبوشی دونت لبوشی نکردن مکه تی نگا لبروز زور باشتر آواه که خواهد نتند روست کان زیاک این بورج مکه من جگل آوی بیب کن آو نخم شکر نخم پر نخم چی نخم قینا اگر آوش نلی خواهد نباشه کان زیاکی عادتا نگو باس من که تو سالاتی که زور خواهد نتوانه هم برنج بخوری نتوانی چه آشیش کباب خوری، آدوشیش کباب خوری. خوری که سالاتی که زود زود خورده بی. بیا نگاه سیو که خورده بی، هلا خویم عیدت که دی آوان نشته کن اتوانی بخوری. ابرو ایمیش که روشی دونت تی نگات زود جات تاکش چیپ کن او که بر نالی کلی او ما که هر واقعه. لبرو باش تو وای استعان زیاد که این نگ بیل کم کردن او که اینو. Okay. And as I said again with crowding out, add drink more water. You know, instead of reaching for juice or soda, which is so yeah. full of sugar, um, just drink more water. And when you, you drink more water and you're hydrated, you will be less hungry because we confuse. Again, our mind actually confuses thirst with hunger. Sometimes we think we're hungry, but we're actually just thirsty. <laughs> زود جرگه کرد بتوانی آب خویت او یعنی پر داخل کاب خویت او دوانی او هستی برستیتی نمینه زود جرگه میش کم شتانه تیکل کا یعنی من باورم باهه خوش مزور تاگین بله میش ما زود جرگه تیکل کا نه کا که او حزانه تیکل کا بله من تو تینو تا بله مال برستیت بله من او خورو زود جرگه من خم تاگین کرد تو او خورد تو سریک مال ولاد برستیت کم نمی یعنی زور هست با برستیتی نه کم uh, so I'm typing something into the chat. This is an app. Um, I think it's available for iPhone and Samsung devices called Daily Dozen. Now Daily Dozen. That's all chat again. Daily Dozen. So dozen in English means twelve. Like we usually say, like a dozen eggs means twelve eggs. So a dozen is twelve. Daily Dozen. What's that program? Uh, so there's a doctor. Oh, what happened to my video? Okay. There's a doctor in the U.S. Um, who came up with this app. He's also written a book um, that's a bestseller called How Not to Die. So it's what are those things you can eat daily so you live as long and as healthy as possible. And he also came out with a book, How Not to Diet. So these are the foods that if you eat them every day, you're going to have good health and live longer. Uh, الان برنامه دکتر داین او برنامه که باز لواک که کل روزی که امده زنده دانست خوره که روزانه گارد او بوده گاره که میتونه این لغوش که ام خوار نه بخوی تندروسی کی زور زور باشه به دکتر گری که او برنامه که لایمن هنای برنامه کی او مال ایفون او برنامه که اگر تانی داده بزنن ادم بام برنامه روزانه بیت الله چه کیلی که اون خوار دو اون خوار دو اون خوار دو وزور زور بارش شبو خمانت که بزنی اول روز چی من خورد وزور جاش تک که این نوسی او کاته هست که ایبان منا سری که بیانیش تکی واد تندروس نخورد و نیورا نخورد و یار نخورد و سری که اول روزیش خورد نگی تندروس نخورد و اگر بزنید یعنی تراکیب که اول روزانه بی نوسی دیلی دزن همون تان اگر دان خوش با ایفون هی با اندرویدیش هی امکان خم دان بزن دایساش لای خویه هی تی. And the other thing this app has so his first um book that the daily dozen is based on is how not to die but then he wrote another book called how not to diet because so many people are going on a diet to lose weight the wrong way and so on the app he also has something called 21 tweaks so a tweak is like a small change a tweak is a small change so these 21 tweaks are small changes that are really simple 
that are going to help with weight loss. So if that's a goal for you, you can also look at these 21 tweaks as strategies to help with weight loss. And there's information that explains why and how to do each one. how to not die, which one how to not diet. يعني دايت نكي ام ريجيمون برنامانا بتشو ازك نيكيت ولم كتب لم برنامج زوري لسر نوسيو دكتور او دكتور زوري لسر نوسيو كريجيم بيتشون بكري وادين روزانا بيت شي بخري بي روزان لو دوانزا سن خواردو تشي بي بخو زاي كي بنا جو مكان امم Maybe we can take this question from Mohammed. I see a hand raised. Yeah, thanks a lot. Hello, everyone. Hello. My, my, yeah, my question is like that. Uh, when I have a meal, I'm drinking water a lot. It's my problem. Mm -hmm. How I'm going to fix it? um so you do you have problems with digestion after your meal because you drink too yeah, much water yeah uh yeah i'm because i'm drinking a lot that's why i can't uh, let's say uh eat a lot because of the drinking water mm. yeah so it oh, go ahead Irfan. Uh, I uh, okay, so, uh, so interesting question. Water, um, if your goal is to eat less, you know, people who want to lose weight, for example, it's good to like have water, some water right before a meal. Because as I said, you'll feel less hungry if you drink water. But for some people, if they drink too much water with a meal, they, their digestion will not be as good, um, especially if it's cold water. So it just depends. But if, if you want to eat more, then yes, try to drink water between meals. But if you want to eat less, then you could have you know, a big glass of water right before your meal, so you'll eat less. But yeah, drinking water with a meal is fine if it's not ice cold and not too much, just drink more between your meals. Uh, بلام اگر بود تم درستی که باش لبینی میل کنه بن لبینی نیورا و نانی ایواره آبی که زور زور خویتو بود تم درستی زور زور باشه باشه واس بلام اگر لکاتی نان خورد نابی خویتو علی که شی که بود درست کابو هضم کردی نی خورد نگه بتهای بته اگر آب کس سرد بی آبی سرد که شی که زور درست کابو گدا لکاتی هضم کردی نه Yes Lars anyone else has question Yeah how are Allah بسیاری اتمام ده Hello, <laughs> <laughs> And Larsa Hawar, he has been like, she has been like, it's like one year, she doesn't have a rice. And Shakir, uh, how are you? Shakir, 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 and she has a thyroid problem. Balam, is that home her Sam Motakati Abalin Awaja come? Komalish Takam Basiria Komas and Riaza come, Komalik Hina come, Yani, Dari Hudakama. من کشم زور کم دا بازه پشتر و نبوم استاد تقریبا لماوی ام سی مانگا شش کیلوم دانا یعنی به سی مانگ شش کیلوم دانا من به موش قلاوم اگر بتوانی اوشم جواب باتوا بوچی من کلیمو بخوم کشم زیاکا یعنی زور سیره او 
Oh, she says she is eating lemon, but she's gaining weight. And she's going to the gym and she do exercise. That's like, has been like three months. She just lost six kilo. She's losing mm -hmm. weight with like small amounts. Yeah. Big time, big time. Uh, so thyroid issues, like I assume it's hypothyroidism, which means it's low thyroid. This is becoming really common, especially in women. And one of the things that happens because it's affecting your hormones is it does make women gain weight. And it's harder to lose weight when you have an issue with your thyroid. So for this, um, it's better if you can send me a direct message um, after this so I could ask you a couple more questions to give you a better advice. Yeah, and I'm also sorry. Yeah, I'm also thinking um, how beer we can discuss this later um, to do a, a talk just with women. Because there's some problems like the thyroid and, and weight loss specific for women. So I can have Erfan's uh, sister do the translation for me. And we could have just women and talk about women's specific problems. So if there's an interest in that, if you're a lady, let um, help your know, send a message, and we'll arrange that. <laughs> Okay, great. And then let me add one thing to um, Hawar's question. And this is actually my next tip. So I'll just share this and then go to, we have a question from Questan. So another tip for avoiding unhealthy food and also to help with weight loss is not to starve yourself or not to restrict calories so that you feel hungry. Like is not an effective way if you're trying to lose weight. And also some people, they're just busy working all day that they skip lunch. Not intentional, but also if you skip a meal or you try to reduce your calories too much, at some point you end up really hungry and you usually eat yeah. too much or you eat the wrong foods. Yeah, like, like maybe like our Ramadan that we don't eat, but in the mm. dinner we eat a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, کیشی 
اوی که آروی ندارو پردوانم دا پوشرا و خوی هر نای بینید انجا کشی سرکی من و بخوام اوی که قشم زور زور اواری مجبورم با کامل موادی کیمیایی استایان خانه یا اوشتانه لبازار رای گرم واری نکی و من خوام ماوی سال که شورده ورده کشم برای زیابون اروا ایا زیابونی کش و کار با واری نیقش سپاس با ایو دستان خوش Lorsa Kristan is asking that she's a hijab, she says mm -hmm. my hair is falling a lot uh, because I'm hijab also the sun will not hit kind of my head, my hair. Uh, so what do you think is good for that? And uh, I noticed that I'm gaining weight these days. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's a connection between these two and what's a good thing can be food or something to avoid falling hair what do okay. you suggest so i would suggest first to supplement with vitamin d because again the only food that gives a significant source of vitamin d is mushrooms but it's actually quite small so really if you're not getting sunlight um, taking a vitamin d supplement is really important <laughs> Vitamin D is a good thing. If you want to use it, you can use it. Vitamin D is a good thing. If you want to use it, it will be a good thing. If you want to use it, it will be a good thing. If you want to use it, it will be a good thing. Okay. And then uh, also I it you have not been tested, if you have not had your thyroid tested, I would get your thyroid tested because Again, this issue of low thyroid hormone, one of the symptoms is hair loss, that women will start to have their hair fall out when they have a low thyroid hormone. <laughs> Yeah, and also if um, if you if you did do that and it's not thyroid problem, uh, definitely the vitamin D. But also you can send me a direct message because um, if I get more information like from you, Hawar, from other women, then I'll use this to prepare my presentation and talk that I'll do with just women. Okay. Um, I see one question in the chat that I'll answer, and then I'm going to go to, I have two more tips that I want to share, but um, please you can raise your hand if you have a question, and I'll get to you next. Someone asked, what do you think about yogurt for weight loss? Um, uh, well, it's not that yogurt is going to help with weight loss unless the yogurt is replacing something that's unhealthy. Um, like just adding yogurt's not really going to help unless you're like replacing something that's less healthy with yogurt. Okay. Yeah, and then someone asked to share the icon of the app. I'll do it after this talk. Um, I'll share that. But it's a green, green color icon. Uh, ah, yeah, there we go. Is our doctor, Dr. Grigor Gregorian? We are going to 
سودی تندروستی ترشیتی از ور تایبت به تندروستی خورده. Um, and then someone asked how they can be in touch with me. You can just send me a direct message on uh, Facebook, or you can email me. My email uh, is larissa at larissapop.com. Uh, if you can send to Lano or just Larissa, type it. I'll oh, sure. I'll type it. 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 اتوان راست خونه می بابنی ارن یان ایمیل کشی اینو سعی است. اتوان ایمیلی بابنی ارن به هر پسر اکتان هست. دیو اکثر جواب دانه ات. یعنی که اوکی. دوباره باید نیل بابم رو دوباره ترجمه کنم باید نیل ما. اوکی. ام. So I've got two more tips. دو خالی که هیچ کی به باستی بگه. ام. So I wanted to also say real quick about not skipping meals that sometimes this intermittent fasting that um, has become popular intermittent fasting many people use it to lose weight where they fast just like you do in ramadan for 16 hours and then their feeding window when they eat is just an eight hour period so most often people are having lunch and dinner and then from dinner until lunch the next day is like 16 hours they skip breakfast علیه می باشی جوری که لارو جوگر تام با کنی تیم دیت فاست می پیلن که زور یعنی خالقی آنی که بعد نیخو مرا رمضان مانه آو آن آنی که رمضان یعنی نیاز زور بیل و خالق کنم من دیوما و گونه آو جوره رجوگر تام کن که باش نانی نیورو خون نانی وارش خون بالام لذای نانی وارو باش شانزده ساعت به هیچ نخون لشانزده لارش ها they don't drink any they don't eat anything or they drink water just water باش بود تنها آو خونه با ماهی شانزده ساعت هیچ نخون تنها آو تادی تو کاتی نیوره اما برای گاهی زور زور باشه دانی با کیش داره بذار زور زور خالقی امر قاب کاری نیار تقریبا روز بود نگی خو من حالا من دعای کنانی نیوره خونه خون ماهش تکی زور زور بخونه لب رو کیش داره بذار توشی و آزاد yeah, and the, the thing I want to say about this, which is why I want to do a talk just for women, is that there's a lot of research on the benefits of intermittent fasting for men, and it's really effective both for health benefits and for weight loss. But for women, there's not a lot of research, and it actually, in a lot of women, can have negative effect on their health. So that's why I'll talk about this with women in the next presentation. But if you're a woman, intermittent fasting might not be a good choice for you. Yeah. Um, let me do tip number five because it's real quick and then I'll take, I see another question in the chat. So tip number five, how to avoid unhealthy foods is to reach for fruit. I think so often people are craving sugar and actually the more sugar you consume, biologically, we crave more. Like I don't crave sugar. Like I have no desire for cake or cookies because I don't eat it. But as soon as I have a piece of cake or cookies, I'm going to want more of it. But, so if you want something sweet, reach for the fruit fiber um, or something like a sweet vegetable like carrots. I think it's a good thing. گیان دعوی یک چیزی کش کرد. لوکا تا ک واشه به حقیقت وای منم هم امشتان در سال دسته خم تحقیق کرد تو خم تانه گم راست دستیو. حالا برو راسته شکل که خوی دو بار حزلیت حزل فارشی که حزل آن شیرینیه به پخلاوی به به کی کی بیشتر که همان سال در سالم خد حزل شیرینیه. لبرو به هیچ چیو یک شیرینی نخوام. اجسم من دعوی بکاتو. لبرو گر بتوانی لوکا تا ک اجسم دعوی کاشتگی بابل میوه کوی 
And actually, Sirwan was asking in the chat, what's the best time for eating fruit? So the best time for eating fruit is in the morning or afternoon. Right. Like, let's say you're really craving something after dinner. It's going to be better to have fruit than to have baklava, but... But the, yeah. Mostly yeah, the, but, yeah, it's just not to have it late at night. I mean, it's same. you don't want to eat anything that has carbohydrates like sugar. I mean, even white rice, bread, you know, these turn into sugar. Having this late at night, it means that you're not going to burn this energy. Unless you're going to the gym or you're going for a long walk, then uh, you're going to go to sleep and that extra calories or the extra sugar carbohydrates will turn into fat will be stored as fat so, Wait, Sir Juan was also asking, I think, because he's just sending it private so you don't see it, but he also asked when eating fruits, uh, often people are eating a lot of fruits in one meal. So he said, as I heard, eating a lot of fruits will affect health also. Could you please advise us? So eating too much fruit is, I guess, as a problem, as long as you're not eating like as long as you're not eating sugar, you're not eating processed foods, you're not drinking soda, you know, these are the things that are really bad. But if you're eating just like whole foods, natural foods, then you don't have to be so worried about fruit unless you have a certain health condition like diabetes or, or some other um, health issues like digestive issues. Like <laughs> And, and I want to, there's a follow on question from mm -hmm. Shagu, which is so she's asking eating fruits after a main course, the fruit will not digest properly. So, this is another good point that, yeah, generally I don't eat fruit after having a big meal, especially fruit like melon. Erfan knows this. Um, each of us are different, but when it comes to digestion, because some fruits, especially melon, it digests so quickly that when our stomach is full, it will actually lead to indigestion. You might have gas or bloating. So it can be an individual thing. It's something to pay attention to. Like, um, uh, just pay attention if you feel like having fruit right after a meal gives you gas or bloating, then you should avoid it and have it between meals. Yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, let's take one of the raised hands. Okay. 
Sulao. Sulao. Hello. Uh, well, he is Laura's Mabu Hamutan. Uh, من ویستم هنر رو کردم و بدم و پرسیاری ویشم هم بود. آیا خواردنی زلات کمان دل و بلند جمع خواردن کنای خویم؟ آیا گنجا و یا گنجا نیم؟ من با خوام وای و با چونی خوام و با تخریبی خوام و با تبینی خوام و هم و هم پی باشه که لگل جمع خواره کنای زلات نخورد. هم وقت او خان مرش ولامی خوی هبی بزنیم زلات چکات یا بخوری لگل جمکان بخوری لگل جمع خورد نکان بخوری گنجاو یا گنجاو نیم. آب سیاری است. نه بو. After the meal or before meal or what's a good time for eating salad? This is the first question. Okay. آب سیاری دومیش ام آویه که میواد چکات یا بخوری باشه. خودان خودو هو باست کرد اما جد تکر که خو من زیادی داشت شوای خون شوای مگون جای زنی آیا چکات گون جای و میوه خوردن و آیا میوه میوهش لذیکی جمع کنن بخورید باشه یا خود خرابه چون من لحنتی شوی نبودن ول ل ترکیان بینی دوایی خوردن یک سر میوه نخورد که من با گون جای من زب زنم اما این شوای What's the same person for fruit What's a good time for eating fruit You tell people in Turkey they have fruit right after meal it's a good time to have in okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Uh, Sometimes in the morning I make fruit juice, but I will put it in the fridge and I will drink it for like dinner time in the evening. This is good or bad? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So first, best time for eating salad. Uh. So. Well. Generally, any time you eat salad is a good time. We just we want to eat salad. The breakfast time. But um, as I said, it's best if you have a salad before your meal. One, because you'll eat, you, you'll ensure that you eat it without filling up on the other food. When people eat it afterwards, often they're full and they'll eat very little of the salad. خوردن گفت کمتر خوی بالا مگه دوای نه خوردن بی خوی خوردن تا و خورد و شوی نماد و زلاته بعد باشه کی زور کم خوی Also for digestion, so this answers the question too about eating fruit. So just to clarify, because both fruit and vegetables are mostly carbohydrates, carbohydrates digest much faster than protein and fat. ولی خواست خوردن زلات کربوهیدراتی که کربوهیدراتی که زور زدن تا یه و او دانش زور با خیرایی از مکری. آها. So if you are someone who experiences digestive issues, like after you eat, you often have stomach pain or bloating or gas, then this is another reason to have the fruit or the salad first because they digest more quickly before you have the other food. But if you don't have issues, then you know it's up to you but i generally like avoid fruit immediately after a meal just because i know for me then i might you know have some digestive problem and, uh, but the other, let me finish. Uh, so the other thing, I want to clarify this just because it's a good question I get a lot. With fruit, if you're having fruit after a meal because you're craving something sweet, again, it's okay. It's better to have fruit than to have cake or ice cream or something else. <laughs> حذف لشته که بی خوی حذف گاهی کی شویش به پارچه میوه بخوی لپارچه کیک باشد. لگلاسک 
کلابوسی باشتره. دپاکلار و برما اوضت شیم یعنی میویک همو کاتک ل او خوردنه که باس مانکر باشتره. Yeah, just maybe don't eat a lot. For me, for example, if I have like one piece of watermelon after my meal, it's okay. But if I have a a big plate of watermelon after my meal, I'm gonna get gassy. الان اگر خم اگر پارچه یک شودی بخم احتیاجی بلامو بلام اگر زور شودی بخم و کردنی خمان توشی خزاتی که زور زوره بمزه نرخت بلامو. Yeah, and then the last part of his question, um, fruit juice for dinner. So in general, I don't recommend ha having fruit juice at all if if it's not the whole fruit blended. Like a smoothie. If it's like the juicer where it takes out the fiber, then this is like just having sugar. I don't recommend having yeah, again, the morning will be better because if you have anything that's high in sugar, it's better to have it in the morning so that your active day, you're using it for energy and you're burning it off. But it's best if you make like the fruit juice to use a blender and blend the whole fruit so you have fiber. من خوام لگال چایا کشمش خوام یعنی خورما یعنی شتی که که بالام هرگز شکر نخوام یعنی آو کاریگری با جسم هست تا کم هی خوام کاریگری چونه آو اگر تو شکر ل جسم تا کم نبی آو کاتا یعنی آو بله بله هست تا کم هست تا کم لحنتی حالات آو شکرم که کم کرد تو یعنی آو چه صالم شکرم کم کرد تو یعنی آو کاریگری خرابی نبی نسر جسم بلای خوام هست کم شکرم دعا بزد. یعنی چند جا شکرم گرتو خوام جهاز که من هی لمالو هست کم دعا بزد. یعنی کاریگری آوانیه. سپاس. دستان خوش. مزمن I think two three years since not having any sugar. She has raised weight with tea. She say I think there's a bad influence of of my health and my blood sugar is very low. Do you think it's connected to this, like not having sugar with tea? Uh, so she's saying she has a, like her blood sugar is too low. No, when she does not, yeah, her, her blood sugar is too low because, she, <laughs> sorry, she think that she does not have a sugar with tea. Uh, That's why her blood pressure, yeah. Sorry, her blood sugar or blood pressure? Blood sugar, sorry. Blood sugar, okay. Um, no, so there is no like it's completely healthy sugar in your diet when i say sugar i mean the refined sugar i mean of, yeah of course we need carbohydrates carbohydrates like fruit like rice and like beans and vegetables all of these are carbohydrates which digest and break down into like glucose, which is the sugar molecule. So you're still getting sugar from all of these foods. Yeah, it is connected to the diet. چونکه لخوار نیک که و آوج رژه شکر هر دسته که ولی زور زور تندروست اگر شکر نخواه با چای و زور زور تندروست خوش گیم میشم من تو آن آن هم کرده من یعنی داشت. But um but again some people it's not as common it's not common but some people do have a kind of health condition where they have low blood sugar and 
So this is something you'd wanna check with the doctor and also you could send me an email um, if I know more about um, this and I ask you a few questions and I might provide better advice. Uh, so I think we don't have time. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, can I? I just want to end with my number six tip. So okay. I'll keep this one quick. So to wrap up, again, if I didn't have a chance to get to your question, please bring it next week or send me a message. Mm -hmm. So tip number six how to avoid unhealthy food. I think the most important thing is to make the healthy food the easy choice. Make it easy, which means don't have unhealthy food like chips and cookies in the house. Or if you can't control because your other family members choose to buy it, at least store it in a cupboard where it's not easy to get to or you don't see it. But if you see like fruit, like the first thing when you open the refrigerator or you keep your fruit on the counter, it's going to be easier to choose that when you're hungry rather than you see cookies when you eat them. <laughs> Yeah. So thank you all for joining. I hope this was helpful.